Spirit, one God, I mean, Jesus did not and never have a sermon in a, in a funeral. This was a comment written by a preacher in the 18th century. It was an American preacher to say that Jesus never had a sermon on a funeral. Yes, because wherever he is there is life. St. John tells us in 1 John chapter 1, and life was manifested. And today we have an encounter again between life and death. Yes, at that time still life was manifested on the flesh, but we didn't know that this was defeated yet because he was not crucified and risen yet. As I told you last week, the four weeks in this month of Baba, today is the fourth Sunday of Baba, is Christ is encountering our own needs. The first week of the month, he was encountering with us our disability. We saw the guy who was uh, paralyzed and he healed him. Second week, our despair. They toiled the whole night and they got nothing. Last week, our corruption. And today, he is meeting our death to show us that he is life manifested. Let me share with you three words in this miracle that we heard today in the gospel. First of all, that Nain means beauty. So if you imagine beauty, coming out of it, death, and meeting life manifested in Christ. So every time we come to the liturgy, we are meeting Christ himself, and he is ready to convert and transform my death into life. But if you imagine that this man missed Christ with few minutes, literally he will remain dead. The Bible was showing us it was a death with no hope. He was the only son of a widow. Even if we are coming before the Lord this morning with no hope, he's telling us Christ in you is the hope of glory, as St. Paul tells us in Colossians 1, 27. So it's very important to see that we are not here by chance. We are not having a communion as a habit at the end of the liturgy, but it's a real encounter was Christ who came to disperse our darkness and to transform our death into life. Second thing is, after he met him, he obeyed him. And it's quite strange. How come a dead man is able to obey the life manifested in Christ? In all our lives, we are disobeying God because we believe we have a life separate from him once more. In all your arguments with the Lord, you feel that by being separated from the source of life, you can do better. You can know better. You can know more than the word of God. But only when we believe that we are dying with Christ, we'll be able to encounter a full obedience. I will be able to see that now it's time to listen and to obey. This young man, was in full obedience because he was totally dead. That's why when the church is encouraging us and even the desert father to tell us it's time to enjoy your death in Christ, to enjoy the fullness of resurrection in Christ. Still, we are all trying to stop this death process. And in the same time, we can see that we are stopping the resurrection process in our life. So find out where is your disobedience this morning and this is the area in your life that needs to die to be able to receive full resurrection from the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. So meet him, then obey him by dying every morning. St. Paul was telling us he is dying the whole day. In the end, you will glorify God. God is not glorifying in my life, in your life, if you reject to die. If you reject to enjoy the fullness of his resurrection, no one is going to praise God because of your life. So the call, the whole miracle today is telling us he is ready to meet each and every one of us in person. And more than that, it's not a meeting from outside. He told them, stop the coffin, and he told them, young man, arise. Today he is telling you, young man or old man, young woman or old woman, 
I'm coming to transform your life in person through the communion, through the body and blood of Christ. But be in obedience. The next few minutes, find out where is the area that you refuse to die. And it's telling you this part needs to die to be risen in this morning. Then you will go home and you and everyone around you will glorify God for what he has done and what he is doing always in us through death and resurrection. May the glory of Lord Jesus Christ be with you from now and forever and ever. Amen. Amen.